Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, wait for the perfect time and attack. Hey guys, it is the Raw Wrap Up. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on Twitter. Yeah, we didn't do it last week, so I'm a little I'm a little tied up. Plus, you know, time zones and stuff plus this past weekend. But Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on Twitter here for the Raw Wrap Up. It is uh you're here at the Sorgatron Media Studios in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And we got a crew with us tonight. For, uh, back in the saddle again. First of all, uh, he is the only Mayhemer with a future Endeavor letter from the WWE. I had to explain why that was to somebody this weekend over over some Applebee's Mad Mike after a wrestling show. Mad <laughs> Mike! And I'm also the only Mayhemer to have seen 35 minutes of the new Spider-Man movie. Oh, and the only Mayhemer, to my knowledge, that has had a picture with David Tennant. Ha! Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it was a, it was a, it was a, it was a crazy P- weekend. Producer Missy is, is very jealous. Very, very. She, jealous. she can like sniff my shoulder. Oh yeah, you gotta get down here so she can get the sniffing on. No, okay, let's just ima- imagine I did not do that. Also with <laughs> us is our friend in the mainstream media. Mainstream Matt is with us tonight. Hello. Hello. Welcome back. Well, you know, I figured if Shawn Michaels can come back, then. <laughs> It's open for <laughs> I everybody. Guess anybody, never say never, never on the Wrestling never. Mayhem Show, Sorg, or oh, the Raw Wrap-Up. Geez. Oh, jeez. I'm so glad I watched that right before Raw. Like, I finally finished the last match of, of the showdown right before Raw. Oh, uh, you poor bastard. You saw the same thing twice in a row. Well, the... the <laughs> Well, I ignored everything because I was. I they literally while I was repeated wrong. everything from Raw on yeah. tonight's show. Well, yeah. Well, yes. Oh, yeah. Well, no. Well, so I watched most of. So I watched Showdown about an hour and a half of Showdown while I was waiting for my plane on Saturday morning. Uh, yes, at five a.m. Actually, okay. I realized I realized the hour difference, so it started at four a.m. Even earlier. Even earlier. <laughs> Um, but, uh, yeah, and, and then just watched a little bit this morning and while well, I was working on some stuff and then I had exactly the last match to watch, got back early enough, uh, to watch it right before Raw. So I was all set. So I was not lost or felt like I saw something for the first time tonight. I, I um, not watched it. I let, you know, nature take its course and woke up whenever I woke up. Um, I happened to and start to watching the, and went to the bathroom whenever exactly. what, what is I that? woke okay. up. When, I woke up when my bladder told me okay. to wake up as you do when you get older. <laughs> and, um, and then I turned on the network and, uh, it was the middle of the, uh, styles Joe match and it was a good place to jump in. So I watched it from there and, uh, I, I enjoyed yes. a good, decent amount of what I saw. And then I sat through the main event, and then uh, we got on with our lives. And I was not inclined to go back and watch. So we had a lot of returns. We had a lot of tag team things set up um, and stuff like that. Uh, so, uh, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Sorry, that's, that's, a, wait. that's a new Raw theme song. It's just me sighing. It was in Chicago, which seems like I felt like there should have been a stop somewhere between Saturday morning in Australia and Monday Night Raw for these poor, poor performers, by the way. To be fair, it wasn't all of them that went to Australia. A bunch of them were actually at New York Comic Con. Oh, yeah. I saw Zack Ryder was up there, right? Yeah. I didn't get to see anyone because I was busy doing things, but a bunch of them were there. Mm Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, anywho... Uh, <laughs> uh, well, th- this this is uh, a b- okay. We actually had a question in the chat room, so I'm gonna let that direct us for the moment. Uh, Jay says, "What's your thoughts on WWE bringing back managers? Managers, yes, managers with live um, microphones during matches. Please, God, no. That's never worked. Um, no, no. Yeah, I mean, they've really only brought back two managers, and one of them is more of a handler than a manager. <laughs> okay." Um, no, I, I think it, I think it kind of works and brings a little bit to him, but it, we'll have to see how the Bobby Lashley, uh, sudden heel turn after we, his fun night with hey, John Cena. Hey, let's be serious, Sorg. Yes. 
the crowd's been waiting to turn Bobby Lashley heel for a long time. They were just waiting for the green light, and mm -hmm. and you know, yeah, Leo but... Rush on the outside ordering them to chant Lashley, Lashley. That was just the little push that they needed to get themselves all the true. way over that. that and then true. you add in the part about them about him beating up our hero, our Canadian treasure, Kevin Owens. And <laughs> I mean, mm -hmm. what else did you expect Chicago to do tonight? So I mean, like, I, I'm I'm kind of excited now. I, I, now we've got. Lashley is properly cast. Leo Rush is properly cast as, you know, jerks. Mm -hmm. And and we can move forward now instead of this and, thing that we've been doing for a while. And Kevin Owens and Elias will be completely forgotten. Oh, N Elias will that. never be forgotten. No, Don't Elias, worry about that. Elias is going to do fine. Uh, <laughs> no, no promises no. for KO, but... I you Elias cannot. Guys, I'm not going to have this argument every week. You cannot tell me that Elias is, is what, what in a your, bad what, spot. What what can your I, issue I, with I Elias possibly be? Did you want to see Ronda Rousey take his arm away so he can never play guitar again? I would rather see anything. Oh, look, granted, anything. granted, Elias has been in about a nine month holding pattern, mm -hmm. but. You know what? He's no, still wait, getting wait, a good wait, reaction. Wait, wait, wait. So let's just no, 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 no. He goes out there and gets the best reaction of the night. My point exactly. For doing nothing. And it, He's not building you don't any matches. He's too. just going. If you can, if, sure. if, no, 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 no. If you can, if, as a wrestler, if you can do nothing and get that reaction versus the people that are doing everything and getting not a whimper, uh -huh. he's okay. But Elias, are, I'm telling you, you, Elias rewarding is fine. the person getting the reaction. What's that? Why aren't you rewarding the person getting the loudest reaction? Uh, By he, giving him wait, a segment be, every a is feature, being rewarded. Yes, yes. Yeah, a exactly. feature segment every week on Raw. A and no feature pay per views. A fe whoa, 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 no, whoa, 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 whoa. And he, he and just he has, had a feature match with John Cena again at sword, the, at the showdown. Sword. And, at and, a house show. and I can no no at no no. House. You can't tell me <laughs> it's not a house show. No no no. The showdown, the crown house. jewel. It's not a house these show. These are it's the pay per views. It's not a house show. Can oh, we agree? Oh, oh, exactly. There you go. There right. you go. When exactly. Was, all right. Trivia question time. When was the last domestic pay per view Elias had a match at? All right. Let, let's talk about being a no, professional no, actual, wrestler. Like, hold on. No, it's silence. Because I don't know the answer, question. so I'm not going to ask. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, I, mean, I don't know, yeah, but don't I'm know sure you do. Um, but let's talk about being a professional February. wrestler, having a role on a show to play, yes. and playing it well. Elias yes. is what? The heater? You know, he gets yes. the crowd going. You know, a week ago, he overshot the mark a little bit. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but that's okay. Because that happens sometimes. That was a good thing anyways. But um, like as far as like setting the stage so that Ronda could come out and get a monster pop, even better. Look, I was a little disappointed that he didn't get to make some crass remark at her, like he has the last mm -hmm. couple of women that he's happened to be in the same ring with. Mm -hmm. But um, I I'm not concerned about Elias. Um, let's accept the fact also that in the ring, that that his um um that his character is far ahead of his in ring, you yes. know, at this point. And we can only hope that that is still a work in progress that, that we're working on. That is the on. thing. Uh, you're, you're covered up because, you know, he's not he's not going out there. I, I, maybe he's ready or maybe he just had, hasn't had the opportunity. But he's not going to go out there and have a, a AJ Styles Samoa Joe match, right? He's just – that's not the tools that he has, right? His, his, okay, character, his character is, like, ready for the main event. But, like, yes. is he ready to do – 30 minutes, six mans with the shield why? yet. Um, I mean, he could probably handle that if you wanted to put him in there. But, you know, is that the best thing for him right now? Yeah. Um, I don't know. I, it is, <laughs> in, in, in WWE, professional wrestling doesn't mean that you're successful for having wrestling, right? Um, there was a good discussion I just heard about uh, Carlito getting a pretty good rub by the match where he got, he got put down by Stone Cold Steve Austin and Piper at WrestleMania. And that led to the cabana and a bunch of other things that came from that. And he was still on top at that point. And then everything went downhill long after that. But that was for other reasons. Um, so. But that's kind of my point. Yeah, I don't think Elias is going to become play. Like, I don't think he's going to, like, he's, he's one of those guys that they, that they can pull out. They, that they can pull the trigger on any time. Mm -hmm. But they're never going to because they don't have to. Elias... Never has to have a championship. Yes, he does. No, no. Yes, he. Oh, uh, if, oh, if sorry, anybody, did Piper, no, did no, no. Body Piper never have to have a championship because you know he fucking had to. 
Piper? He, yeah, Piper should have had the world title at least once. Mm, I think yeah. he, no, 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 no. Piper, right, we, Piper we were in a didn't. different time. You, you, Mad Mike, are now suggesting that Roddy Piper should have taken the world championship from Hulk Hogan when Hulk yes. Hogan was at his peak drawing <laughs> power and was, and the WWF was a surging firecracker of a rocket yep. launching into the stratosphere that at yep. that point you should have put the title on the heel champion when I'm everything exactly was that. working at that point in time. Uh, I'm exactly no, I cannot that. agree yes. with you on no, that. No, no, I'm, I'm, we're I'm, just I'm exactly that suggesting one. that. I'm exactly suggesting well, that. Well, speaking yes. of champions. Well, let's put over some goddamn it heels, just, It Sorg. just seemed like nobody got along tonight, particularly after winning the Bellas. And Elias, they were right. Who was it? Who was it? Who was it that called it? I think Mike's been been putting this over for a little bit. There, was, I think Alex has been putting it over as well, uh, if I recall from the from the comments. A uh, anyone with eyes has I, seen this, I, except for Ronda Rousey, apparently. Jeez. jeez. Um, but the Bellas are pure evil. <laughs> <laughs> Never Unless forget that. One of them's on SmackDown. That's then right. She's a good Don't person. Don't think for a second. And also, I. <laughs> I'm, you know what? I'm not going to say anything about Bree's outfit tonight. No, say something about Bree's outfit. My tonight. wife What's up was with Bree's a outfit? little unsettled by Bree's Unset outfit. What was wrong with her particularly outfit? Particularly the um, the lower half of Bree's outfit, she felt was overly suggestive. What? Yes. Wait. What? Did, what they're, was her outfit? Uh, they're the Bellas. <laughs> they used to I, be. I, I don't know quite how to like explain Desmos. it without making some crass remark. And I know that we have women watching. And I'm gonna get us in trouble don't again. Don't worry, they'll understand. No, <laughs> she. <laughs> she I don't know what you're getting at. She had like it's the, 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 the Bellas. I, 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 I don't know what to tell you. I, my wife could not stop looking at the crotch of Brie Bella's outfit because it had a huge like cross stripper zipper thing going on down there. Oh, I didn't look okay. because I never uh -huh. look at the women. I close my eyes during all women's matches on WWE TV. Everybody knows that. So, <laughs> and now I've Evolution opened my big dumb mouth. Are you then. happy? <laughs> wow, Matt! Matt, what? Evolution's gonna be a tough watch for you then. Isn't I'm it? not gonna watch it. I'm waiting for Crown Jewel, man. The one that'll make me feel less guilty about watching it. No, um, oh, that's problematic. yeah, yeah, that's an issue. Um, that what were we gonna talk about? So the Bellas bad. are pure. Evil. Yes. Yes. Everybody knows this. Yes. But Rhonda's new. So in storyline, it works. All these tricks are new mm. to Rhonda, Mad Mike. Even though you've been seeing it for 20 years, Rhonda Rousey just showed up six months ago, Rhonda and she's never seen any of this. It's all brand new. Long fan. <laughs> it's one thing None to be a fan. It's another be thing either. to be in there in the ring. Everybody mm -hmm. knows that, right, Mad mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, she's never seen any of this before. She yeah. doesn't even know Natty's gonna turn on her eventually. She has no clue. But if she was sitting at home watching the same thing, she'd be she'd like, probably she'd be, be sitting there like. Out. But when you're inside, yes. it's different. She'd be like See? Brandon that called her three months ago. Yeah, exactly. Yes. So, anyway, <laughs> but here, here's a question uh, for you. Uh -huh. Here, here's uh -huh. a question uh -huh. for you. If Bree is married to Daniel Bryan, and we all deep down kind of like her anyways, mm -hmm. but we accept Nikki as the real evil Bella, mm -hmm. then why did uh, Bree join her in the beatdown? You really didn't even need to do that. Um, I saw someone suggesting that on Twitter. You could just had Nikki attack Ronda and Bree be like, "What are you doing?" And mm -hmm. then just like gone from there. But now we've got a double beatdown, but Nikki gets the match. I mean, like, why didn't, like, like, why isn't it immediately Brie Bella versus Ronda Rousey? I mean, she beat her up, too. I mean, it wasn't like one took the bulk of the beatdown on Ronda. Like, what the hell is There's Brie actually, do? like, no I stated mean, motivation. There's I really either. no reason given for it. made for two and a half months. Yeah, well, to, I mean, but I'm saying is there. that there's no, why <laughs> is one getting look, the title match over the other? Look what we got later out over here. <laughs> Uh, hey, that's a good idea. I mean, I mean, obviously we're going to get also, the Brie versus Liv Hell in a Cell at Evolution. Oh, I can't so wait for that. <laughs> be, oh, that, that has to it. happen. I, I'm glad they played up on that a little bit. I didn't see it, notice it as much on Showdown. Actually, I think I missed the fin finish of that match at Showdown. But spoiler alert, Sorg, it was the same finish as tonight. Oh well, whatever. Um, but <laughs> I mean, <laughs> if you can't say that means it was like less of a pay per view because they completely do the same thing. <laughs> All the it was a time. house show when they when they it's practiced not a the house matches. show. It's not a it's yes, it's a house show in front of seventy thousand people. Um, Still a house show. Don't call it a house show. Don't, it was on TV. There's you can't call it a house show because there's no roof, Mike. 
All right. That one, that one I'll, I'll let you have. There I'll you go. You Just let you stop fucking hearing right. it again. Can, can we can we talk about the only good thing on the show? I, I can't wait to hear what Renee it is. Renee Young? No. Go on. The return of El Conquistador. See? <laughs> that was... Damn it, I thought you were going to say Lita. <laughs> no. The... No, because it took two singles matches we had for a pay-per-view that they haven't booked anything on and turned it into one match. That does make me sad. Yes, I'm okay with it. It's fucking stupid. If we just did Trish versus Lita in the first place, then we would have been fine. Okay, I'm not as opposed as Mike is. It just makes me slightly sad. <laughs> I think there's a good reason that they that they had to make this change. I think that I I, I want to say that I read something where Alexa's got like a hurt arm or something like that. That could be. Um, well, I'm, be I'm happy about this going can't. forward because I think it's a better spot for Mickey. So I'm excited to see what. I mean, I think Mickey's going to get a chance to really shine now, so I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm excited get, for Yeah, we this. get Trish versus Mickey, which should have yeah. been the match all along. Yeah, so I'm, I'm excited about that. Now, getting back to the Battle Royal. This thing was awesome. <laughs> this was awesome. I was oh. not – I expected it to be, you know, the Heath Slaters of the world, but we got something – like the minute they showed the, the crew in the ring, I was like, this is going to be – I'm looking forward to this now. <laughs> and they introduced, um, like, Chilean sea bass. I think they switched the Conquistador. For who? No, Wait, when? I, I see, you, you think I, it, it, was, I, it was somebody else? He went to the outside. They did a switcheroo for Angle. Yes, German. I really think so because I, I, I thought I now. remember seeing at the beginning of that match that the Conquistador was a lot. Uh, well, I'm sure shall we somebody. Say, shall we say slimmer? I'm sure somebody that watches a lot of Raw will 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 update on that later in the week. Yeah, I mean, you know. You never know what could happen. You never bro. know. You never know. Never say never in the WWE, that's, brother. That, that's right. That's yeah. right. Um, but, yeah. Um, but, yeah, so Kurt Angle is back in a World Cup that consists of two Americans so far. The entire world. Do you need an explanation? Yeah, I do. Saudi Arabia I, wants I, I Kurt Angle and John Cena <laughs> in the tournament. Oh, no, no. Saudi Arabia is going to get Kurt it. I'm okay with Kurt Angle being in it. Okay. I'm okay with Kurt Angle being in it, but you shouldn't call something a World Cup when a quarter of it is Americans. We, we have Maybe two they're going to have, have two, two people guys. from every country. Maybe yeah, that's what I know. What, 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 it's going to be whatever. It's going it, it's going to be Do um, are you upset that Chilean sea bass got left out? We will not be. Yeah. We will not have Ch- Chile. Will not be represented. In I this. mean, we really should just just start a hashtag, um, um, justice for sea bass. <laughs> <laughs> hashtag kick his ass sea bass. Yeah. Yes. I, it's always good where if like you're doing a uh, an international character and you need a sash, telling everyone what country you're from, like, because. We might not immediately pick up the fact that you're from Luxembourg or something like that, you know. I enjoyed I mean, that battle royal. Was I the only one? Like, Let's check the chat. I, I'm I'm just looking forward to in like five years when one of those guys becomes NXT champion. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Because it'll probably happen, and then someone may have to look up his first appearance on Raw, and we'll go back to this and debate on w- and debate on whether it was actually him, like just like Bill Goldberg in that tag match with uh with Piper, <laughs> when he has buddies from, uh, which I, I don't think it was him. I think they they stated, right? Yeah, I thought it was. I don't think. So. Anyways, um, uh, Alex Alex did not watch uh, Raw. He beat the Million Dollar Challenge. Good All for right, him. so new sponsor for the Mayhem Show. I guess. Um, <laughs> uh, Dave, you see this comment from Matt in there? Dave, I don't think that's a country. I think you meant Liechtenstein, but I will accept. But, uh, uh, yeah, okay, yeah. Liechtenstein it is. I, I'm going to spell check that one for you, Dave. <laughs> I hear representatives from Liechtenstein are the bee's knees and the cat's pajamas, but that's all I've heard. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, so, so should we talk about the geriatric X? Yeah, I, I thought we did already. Yeah, we should. Okay. You, you know, you know well, what? I don't know if you, you noticed want? this, Sorgi, but um, after um, DX reunited on Raw, um, hashtag Skulls in Latin. Um, what, what's that about? Um, th- Mad Mike, were you here for that? Or am I just oh, telling jokes to myself oh, yeah. at this no, point? No, no. I think that was that was a 
thing you and I talked about at Mania. I think that was something we oh, came okay. up with. One of the many one running day, jokes. One day the do- the wrestling the the Mania documentary will be released. It's in post production right now. It should well, be ready by the time it next well, it Mania comes out. Post production and then it's been just you know simmering. Well, you gotta wait for we the just right need uh, release two more dates. more Mayhemers so to get married before it'll. Be that released. is true. That is true. <laughs> Listen, if three more Mayhemers get married. <laughs> what the hell are we talking about? Um, I don't know. Lecture sign. Uh, okay, so here, here's 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 a little thing that's kind of <laughs> problematic about the DX reunion. Okay. Okay. Almost immediately after DX reunites, you go to the WWE Twitter account, and suddenly they have like DX spray painted over the WWE logo on the corporate Twitter account. Well, how does this happen? Well, you don't even need to like stretch the bounds of reality to figure it out because they tell you on TV. Triple H is the COO. So he orders them to change the Twitter account to put DX over it. So whereas, you know, <laughs> no, you're no, supposed you know, wait, wait, to be like, wow, wait, 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 these wait, wait, rambunctious wait, wait, rebels, yes. you know, won't listen to anybody. They're vandalizing even the Twitter account. Well, no, no. But my, my brain already knows that what actually is happening is that the corporate overlord of this company has ordered the minions underneath him to post this on their social media to taunt the Undertaker and Kane. He's risen through the ranks just so he could go <laughs> Degeneration X protocol. And I really, you know, I, that's what they should do. They should change it from just being, we're rebels and da 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 da, we're 50 year old rebels, uh, to like, hey, we're in charge now. Reba rebelled. We right. took over. You know, and like now like, we are like, literally like, corporate DX. Now. Yeah, yeah, sorry, corporate sorry, DX. Like it is we kind already of have the authority. We kind of already well, got yeah, that. Yeah, though. Yeah, I mean, yeah. the, like the last run was all about like was all like in jokes about we got to sell our merch and all this other stuff. Like and, it was yeah. kind of funny and in that they, way. But they also <laughs> literally already did this with the McMahon Helmsley era. That is true too. Yeah, that, that was yeah. it. That was it. And then it then like <laughs> fiction became life at that point. I, yeah, the, I, the only thing that was different was that Shawn Michaels wasn't involved, and it was just um, the outlaws and X Pac, who like could probably Voltron to form Shawn Michaels. I don't know. Uh, yeah, more or less, more or less. And uh, also a bus. There's Tina a bus. in the chat room points out. I won't do the math, but I assume she's right. There's gonna be <laughs> there's gonna be over two hundred years in age will be in the ring for that tag match. In Saudi Arabia, when the yep, when the brothers of the destruction takes on DX, you know what Which makes is me fun because that's how far the behind the time Saudi Arabia is. But oh, and, and and what really upsets me most is I feel very bad for Shawn Michaels because he held on to that long hair for way longer than he had to, and then he finally decides to cut it. And what happens? He comes back. He comes back. So we wearing that headband the whole time. That yeah. that cowboy hat was how tough many, as a mother in, many, in Australia. How many jokes did he have about about Hulk Hogan's headband back in the day when they had that <laughs> ill-fated feud? Well, he doesn't even have the hair to go. Yeah, I no, mean, no. I, I, I guess Hogan if you still hold on to that hair. Do it, yeah. Jeez. I, uh, I feel, ba- I feel bad for HBK. Yeah. All four men. All four men are bald. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 you know what? Tr- Triple H, Tr- Triple H could grow a fine head of hair still if he wanted to. He chose to shave his head. Mm-hmm. He didn't have to. His hairline was strong. It's a He's decision. got the most resilient hairline in all of wrestling. I've never seen a hairline that's held on for longer than Triple H's. He had no reason to shave his head. He could have kept that he- long hair forever, Sorg. No oh. one was ever going to say a thing. Are you ready more for the Math Mayhem show? Uh, Tina says, all together, between those four guys, a hundred years of in-ring WWE experience. Stop trying to sell me on this match, Tina. That's a lot. I that mean, that's mean, a that's lot of that experience. It's going to be amazing. You know, on one side... It was a good match. It one? was a good match. Was it? Which one? Yeah. The Taker, Taker Triple H. <laughs> it was a good match. I, I, I saw some highlights. I'm not ready to watch Taker like, anymore. Man, you got to watch it in context, Mike, to, to, to have Ooh, an opinion no. on this one. Yes, no, you absolutely. I, I, I'm, pay I'm, me to watch that match. I'm, I'm still a bit. I, <laughs> I, I'm still a big believer we'll, we'll in that. Triple H. I, I still think he can get it done under the right circumstances. Uh, but Undertaker and Kane. I mean, that ship has sailed. Taker I am sad to say. Not... Sean, I'm sure can still do a thing or two. But um, yeah. it's that it, match. There's going to be some bells and whistles. Man. They're going to do everything they can they can think of. But mm-hmm. but you know, it, it, here here's a. Here's a flaw, okay, and I and I'm I am a Triple H guy when it comes to the in ring mm-hmm, stuff. Mm-hmm. I I've I've come to that conclusion and I've accepted it. I've accepted that I like Triple H matches, all right, and I'm not ashamed of it anymore. Um, but a, a flaw of the Triple H match is that he will go too long. 
and he they went too long in Australia, mm-hmm. and they will probably go too long in Crown Jewel, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. the next time Triple H decides to show up at WrestleMania, they will go too long. So that's what got him in trouble with Roman Reigns went one year, remember? Exactly, the main event of Mania, they went too long. Uh, yeah, you know, well, yeah. almost every Roman Reigns singles match is about ten minutes too long. And the same can be said for most Triple H singles matches at this point. Oh, too. no. Every Triple H match is at least 15 minutes too long. Yeah. Mm-hmm. At least 15 minutes. Like, like there are certain guys that should not have matches that go beyond a commercial break. And I think it's there- important to point out, too, that, like, you don't need to go 30 minutes to have an incredible, epic-feeling match, you know? You can have a really good, you know, 12- to 15-minute match that feels... Yep amazing too you know so i mean the, the automatically automatically putting it in your head that that length equals quality is eh, not male. accurate it's very male <laughs> <laughs> yeah skulls in latin <laughs> you got the fresh from me up even the dx Sorry, shirts skulls are skulls in latin now every every triple h shirt since about 2001 has just been skulls in Latin. That's his entire. Oh, aesthetic. oh, okay. I That's got his you. character. Okay. There it is. Okay. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you're <laughs> right. <laughs> I mean, huh. it's cool. No one else can have skulls in Latin. Only me. Here's the thing. Well, no, skulls, skulls in Latin. Latin. <laughs> leather. Stephanie can have skulls in Latin. Stephanie is leather and skulls in Latin. <laughs> That's true. And now I've said too much. <laughs> <laughs> Finally. Why can't everybody get along that main event? Oh, God. We're Dean got pissed. I, I missed week. the sequence where Dean was pissed that he got the <sighs> pen. I guess it because everybody was outside and he had no buddies. I, I could see if something else happened. I wanted yeah. to. I want this to turn into Seth and Roman fighting over who pissed off Dean. That's what I want to see the feud become. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> just be the, just those two just standing in the ring like, why'd you have to piss him off, Roman? It took me two damn years last time. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah that could be interesting. And then also, um, they're br- uh, the, the pretty much a p- man. Uh, we were sitting here watching the end, Mike, and uh, when Drew and Braun had a face off, I was like, "Yes, give me this." Mm. Either I, that, I'm, I'm tired. I'm tired of Braun. They yeah. they've soured me on Braun. I didn't think that would have really. Been you didn't have fun yeah. him yelling at the guys all night. I did like that. Was, Braun that yelling was at a Dolph. blast. That was fun. No. Yeah. No, I'm. No, my my feelings in that moment where Drew and Braun were facing off was, yes, I would like to see Braun versus Drew, and then another part of me was saying I would like to see them both just clock Dolph and have it just be Braun and Drew, mm-hmm. now, and then kind of go in that see, direction and find another big guy. I'd be okay with a lot of this stuff if every single title wasn't involved in it. Yeah, that 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 helped the show, the four hour show, uh, Saturday morning feel a little empty for, for that. It's like, wait, we like, have so many belts, but none of them are involved. Like, if Drew and Dolph weren't the tag team champions, and there was nothing holding them together apart from supposed friendship or camaraderie, then okay, I could buy the tension. But uh, they still have the tag straps. Mm-hmm. Like, oh it, yeah, it doesn't. Yeah, they're the tag team champions. Not that you'd ever know it, because there were no fucking tag teams. <laughs> yeah, to be honest, like, when Drew was leaving, when, when when Drew was leaving, he grabbed the belt. I'm like, why did he grab the IC title? Oh shit, that's his. Yeah, yeah. The only tag team thing we're doing is Gable and Rude versus the Ascension for the count 'em sixth fucking time in a row. Oh, it's over now. I don't think it is. Now the AOP showed up. It's over. Mm-hmm. No, now it's going to be a triple threat. No, 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 no. Because the AOP ab- attacked both teams. Yeah, that 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 was just that was just get get rid of the ascension. Uh, it doesn't matter anyway because we'll Rude and Gable see. aren't a real tag team anyways. They'll be no, broken someone up in a few wrote months. in Sharpie on the whiteboard. They can't get rid of it. Mm. Um, the, the, it, it's it's a problem. They're they're stuck with those tag titles on Drew and Dolph because they can't. They don't have like a. A, like a babyface tag team, like in the in the wings waiting, mm-hmm. and they can't move it to Seth and Dean because what? they're teasing the dissension. You so you could make revival fake. You could if no. you really wanted to, but they don't really want to. I don't think. Okay, no, you got the B team. I could go back to them. No, I, I think team. like making the revival 
faces. I don't, I don't know if that's a good idea. The revival is so much fun as heels. They so when they're at like full, when the they're in like full revival mode. Dolph. No. Um, our our new two man band, Kevin Owens and Elias. I t- I take that. I would take it. I'd ship that. How long till Sammy's back? I don't know. Mm. No. Yeah, no, now I mean, I'm I, just sad again. Uh, SmackDown has direction. Raw has none. No, it's a different show. It's a different show. It's a different format. It's a different purpose. Uh, yeah. Mad Mike, how yeah. much of Raw was watchable for you tonight? 20 minutes. Wait, which? Well, I want to know which 20 minutes. Yeah, which 20? The Battle Royal. Oh. Yeah, it was good stuff. I, I love the one with Baron Corbin, Kurt Angle, and the Jobbers. That hey, let's hear it for that crowd in Chicago. Yeah, they seriously. were great tonight. Seriously, I only caught like CM Punk, like like nascent CM Punk chance like once. Yeah, and it might have been during that segment. Um, I think our boy Ross Berman was in the crowd. He was. Oh, was he? Yeah, he was. Said they were going crazy. So nice, nice. Yeah. No, it was pure fire. Yeah, Elias got him going too. Not as bad as last week with uh, Seattle, but yeah, but you know still. what? He he was a true yinzer and he took his shot at the Cubs. So we mm-hmm. appreciate it. As you do. Mm-hmm. As you do. Kick them um, when they're down. Mm-hmm. Uh, hey. <laughs> he is less than me. <laughs> Fifteen minutes. Okay. Uh, I'm going two and a half. I really enjoyed. <sighs> It for a Monday Night Raw. Yeah. I'll go oh. two hours. I'm with you, Sorg. I enjoyed mm-hmm. it. And you know how much wrestling I've seen this weekend, and I'm not still soured to watch WWE Raw for being WWE Raw. I was making gifts today. I mean, plus, I'm going to have to relive like, all three shows with editing. Gifts of like pieces of metal flying through the air. That's right. As if like you're Magneto, man. and you're just like controlling it. Uh, lots going on. Wait, did we give all our things? Did you give yours? Tw- two hours. Two hours? I'm with you, Sorg. I like it. Good. That feels good. Yeah, yeah. That's almost like the show minus recaps. <laughs> so <laughs> somebody was really putting over to me that they started watching. Um, oh, I think it was. Um, I was hanging out with uh, some some of our friends in Texas, including Biss, that's been on the show before, at least the Indie Mayhem. Um, and and he it, it, and we were talking about how the Hulu cut cut of of Raw is like a godsend. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, man, yeah, I kind of wish I didn't have to, but like my habit in my life is like, no, this is what I do. I watch Raw on Mondays. Mm-hmm. This is what Sorg does. Why? Uh, why watch? The problem is, if you watch the Hulu cut, how will you know what parts of Raw you hated? So ah, well, no, because uh, <laughs> you'll have see, nothing to complain cut, about. The Hulu cut is a very special episode of Raw because they cut out all the parts that I like. Yeah, they kind of do. They, yeah, yeah. Here they cut we out should the give parts, you all the shield. Yeah, <laughs> they cut they cut out the parts of Raw I like and just keep it to hey, what's going on in Roman's life? Yes. <laughs> it kind of becomes a Romans reality show kind of situation there. Total Romans. Let's see, Anthony says two hours BS, twenty minutes. He's basically saying that none of it was watchable. Let's get awesome. real. Uh, we we yes. are we are on an island out here. He is. Yeah. He, is uh, he is absolutely correct. Yes. He's, well, he's th- this is why I came <laughs> on, Sorg. I didn't want you to be alone. See, I had to. No, but see, here's here the thing. Here's the thing. The match quality isn't bad. The match quality is not bad. Some of the matches aren't that great, but the match quality is usually pretty fine. It's just I am fucking bored by so much of it because nothing happens. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Nothing happens. I like stories to progress. That's why I like SmackDown. SmackDown stories progress and move forward. Raw has been in a holding pattern since WrestleMania. Mm. All right. It's been All a right, holding yeah. pattern since they got the belt back on Roman. How about that? Okay, so since SummerSlam. There you go. Okay. That's okay. a solid three or four months. There you go. There you go. <laughs> they shifted holding patterns. I don't agree with it, but that is your opinion. Well, guys, we got a lot of stuff going on. Uh, tomorrow, uh, or whenever you get this, Tuesday night, we'll be on Facebook Live for Wrestling Mayhem Show proper at 9 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, and we will have back on this show the Beast Man, who just had two championship matches this weekend and he won one of them you might want to let your dog stay at the house yes. tuesday night yes i don't think you want your little dog around the no. beast man no 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 could I, end up a snack yeah yeah so um and there's some rumblings we may have him go pick up the sponsor pizza oh <gasps> <laughs> Will he kick in the door? I don't know. He t- <laughs> if anybody's going to, he may just throw the bone through the window. <laughs> and 
then we lost the sponsor. Anyways, um, also, we have a double shot of recordings for Indie Mayhem Show on Wednesday night uh, at 9 p.m. We're going to have two more of the IWC um, school uh, graduates. Uh, b- I believe we're going to have the two that had uh, matches with Dylan Bossick and DJ Z, respectively. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, in their very first match. And there's another one that's not going to make the show. They just had a second match for the first singles match that was very good against Chris Luso on Sunday. Um, so we'll have a we'll, we'll chat with them. Uh, we had a really good uh, discussion that uh, will be going up this week with the man dime Elijah Dean and the professor Ryan Die. I, I'm I'm learning the rest of their names. I'm still it's still it's still sinking into me. And I, I had I had a conversation with them about this too. Um, and also at 10 p.m. on Wednesday. And this, these two will be on the Indie Wrestling US Facebook page. Um, we will be talking with Facade, the Neon Ninja. I believe he wants to talk about. He he came back recently from Japan. Uh, he was doing some stuff with DDT over there, and uh, I think he also did what, Portugal. I think again. So either way, the guy is like all around uh, uh, doing this stuff, and uh, and it's pretty great. He is an international superstar. He is he is legitimately an international superstar. <laughs> yes. Him, DJ Z, um, and, burr, also, burr, burr, burr. and also look out. I'm trying to put the final touches, but there's going to be a new release, a uh, special uh, Learning Lucha with uh, DJ Z. Burr, burr, burr. I, okay. I, I kind of figured you would, but uh, that's going to be coming <laughs> soon to IndieWrestling.us as well. Uh, so keep an eye out on that. And you're going to feel like you can flip too. Uh, <laughs> but don't that's try more this the, at home. No, don't try this at home. Jeez. <laughs> oh. Although, you know, after, after filming it, like the, some of the rope spots they were doing, I'm just like, I think I could do that. You know? Sorg, like, I Sorg. feel like I could You're, do that. Sorg. Sorg. Yes. Don't become a luchador. Don't become a luchador? Don't. Don't? Sorg. Yes. I worry for you. <laughs> Why? I don't want it. I don't want to see you do flips. <laughs> you know, those luchadors, you know, you would think that all the flips and stuff they would not last long but those luchadors man they they they, they have a reason, long careers but there's man. a reason it's a, it's the style this is these yeah, are the things the, that i learned in dj yeah. in learning lucha with djz and i think i just came up with the name of it because that's one of the things i was trying to figure out was the name of what we're going to call this thing i think learning lucha with djz is the thing i need to write i, I that just down assumed now. that was it because it no, sounded perfect it does sound perfect hold on learning this is basic luchanomics <laughs> oh jeez! Oh, <laughs> With Juan geez. Cena, DJ Z. I I mean, I remember when he first started and he was doing his training and he would post some of his videos mm. uh, from his training. He goes, he goes crazy. lucha training three days yeah, a week. Lucha Sorg. training yeah. is insane. Yeah. Sorg, Tina says, "Don't be a Dan Hooven." Oh, <laughs> wait! In what context? <laughs> I think this is learning to wrestle. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, Dean, wow. Hi, Dan. I love it. <laughs> From across the country, the sick burns on Daniel. Daniel yeah, Hoover. seriously. Like, I can feel a heat wave coming from Seattle. Wow. About to it's, and, just, uh, it's just melting all that rain. Um, you're just and, melting. And, you've melted the steel city with that burn, Tina. Yeah, ouch. Uh, also, uh, be remiss, we'll probably be mentioning this several times this week, but I want to give uh, much love and, because I'm sure he listens to the show. Uh, <laughs> to our friend Sean Phoenix. He uh, unfortunately had a pretty bad injury at the IWC show on Saturday. Um, I finally got to see last night a little bit of the footage from that show. Um, I was I was at another one. Um, uh, uh, just a bad move, um, and uh, he got his uh, bell rung pretty well. He's in the hospital with uh, uh, some, uh, we'll say, multiple issues, including a cracked skull uh, that he's now Ooh, recovering geez. from. Uh, so, uh, uh, best wishes to Sean Phoenix, please. If you guys are out there, uh, you know, he's been a part of the show and he's been, you know, one of the, uh, good positive forces whenever we do go to these shows here locally and do stuff with them and, you know, have them on our Facebook lives and things like that. Uh, so please, uh, hit him up. I believe it is X Sean X Phoenix X. If I have that proper on the Twitter, if you look up Sean Phoenix, you'll find him. He's the one breathing fire or over on the Facebook. Please give some mayhem nation love to our good friend over there. Um, as he's recovering right now, and uh, and uh, looking forward to him being back soon, and uh, I'm looking forward to editing a really sweet comeback package. Um, so we got life flighted out from the show. I mean, I've never I've never heard of that happening with a wrestling show um, <sighs> before. So, um, but he's on the recovery, and uh, he's on his Twitter and updating and uh, doing good. He apologized to Rosa Mendez that was in the crowd. 
because <laughs> I think it happened right in front of her because she was in the front row. Uh, <laughs> oh, geez. Is it time for jokes yet? Can we make jokes yet? Uh, uh, probably not time no, for jokes no, no, yet. No. We'll, anyway. we'll work on that later. So, Matt, uh, Mainstream Matt. Uh, Sean, I've only had a chance to meet you a couple times or so, so best wishes to you. You're a good kid, so. And uh, hope for the best. Uh, mainstream Matt with one T. Good night. Go. Mad Mike four eight eight three on the Twitters. Uh, yes, I I um, was doing Comic Con things this weekend. I still need to catch up on Lucha, but when I do, I will be live tweeting it, and we need to do a big old double, perhaps triple shot of Lucha at some point. So. I don't know at what point I fell behind to three weeks behind on Lucha, but it happened, and I'm trying to recover. So that's gonna happen too. So yes, at Sorgatron on the Twitter channel, SorgatronMedia.com, all the great podcasts, including uh, we had a really some really good talks recently on Pittsburgh Current. I'm trying to remember what the wrestling <laughs> angle was on it. Uh, we had Steve Tolan of Tolan FX on there. Scarehouse was just in recording a new episode talking about uh, Living Dead and some scary movies. That'll be coming up in the coming week or so. Our friends Thrifty are always doing awesome stuff, um, and they, they we still need to play this VCR uh, board game. WrestleMania VCR board game probably coming up pretty soon on the game nights uh, if you guys are here locally. Uh, and Extra Life is this weekend. We will be going. This is longest. This is practically a mayhem show at this point. Uh, it, it, we're doing a 24-hour marathon here in the studio with a lot of the guys, including Bobby F. J. Town. I think Riz is. I I forget if Riz is full on participating, but he's going to be involved. Um, and a whole bunch of other awesome, awesome people, including the return. To the studio of one brother Sorg. Whoa! Mm-hmm. You can go check Whoa. him out. He's been doing a lot of stuff over at Lord Sorg over on the Twitch channels. So please go check that out. Thank you, everybody. Uh, thank you, everybody. It's been awesome this weekend on the Indies. We'll see you guys next time. Keep it raw. Oh, outro. At Sorgatron Media. Wait, just wait. Just wait, just wait, just wait. Wait for the perfect time in the chat. Don't give up what you want, take it back. Wait for the perfect time in the chat. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at Sorgatron Media.